Hey YouTube, it's Chris, and today's video is all about integrations. What integrations? Stay tuned. So when I talk about integrations, I'm talking about apps that actually control things in the cloud. Sounds magical, but it really ain't. Looking today at Harmony, If This and That, and Stringify, what you do is you log into them, you have to set up your own account with them obviously, but then you give it the credentials of all the smart devices you own. So in this house I've got the Harmony, I've got the LifeX, and I've got a smart switch. Let's start with the Harmony one. In here, you can control uh, the lights either individually, okay, or uh, all together. It's all great, all very nice, apply to all. Yeah, as you can see, it's looking very nice. I'm controlling everything, control the brightness. Fantastic, thanks very much. Harmony, you rock. But unfortunately, there is a problem here. That is, if I'm in an activity, so at the moment I've got the Chromecast running in the back area over there. If I want to, let's say, control lights from this space, I can't. There's no button for it. But haha, you can add soft buttons in Harmony, can't you? So yeah, let's go do that, let's go do that. So we'll go to here, we'll go to edit, edit buttons, let me choose just this random spot here, map a command, and wait, hang on, where's the LifeX lights? I've got them, and that's the problem. Harmony doesn't let you add a soft button to control your lights within an activity. So, when I got the LifeX lights, I was thinking to myself, it'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Imagine, fire up your big screen, press play, the lights dim down, the movie starts playing, it's bliss. But in the end, no. Press, play, step out of the activity, go to devices, and turn the lights off. And as you can see just then, it doesn't turn them off in a very nice fashion. It's a one second fade off, or a one second fade on. Not exactly the best experience, is it? So I thought, okay, there's ways around this, and there is. There's things like, if this and that. And with this and that, you basically tell her, okay, if I do this, I want you to do that. So I wanted to basically, if I pause the movie, I want you to fade the lights down. But already there's a problem right there, and those who've got if this and that, no. You can only control one that, if in this then that, if you get what I mean. So. You can control lights by themselves with Google Assistant or a soft button. You can control Harmony, again, lights or Google Assistant, I mean, with a button or Google Assistant. But you can't do both within the same applet. So it's very limited. So let's get out of that and go to Stringify. So in Stringify, you can actually do different flows. And look at this. I've got prep for big movie and credits, all of what's going on. What I did is I worked out that if you add individual activities in the Harmony app, you then can control your um, lights and your DVD player with your voice or with buttons. So let me show you how that works. First, I had to in Harmony configure an activity called Start Movie, Pause Movie, Resume Movie. You get the idea. Little micro controls that do just one thing pause the DVD player, okay? Then we step back to our Stringify app, and let's say, let's look at the pause movie for a second. In here, I can either use a soft button to basically pause the movie, then the LifeX lights will actually fade in over six seconds to a light intensity of 31%. Great, save that. Okay, and then on the Harmony, it's going to just pause the movie. That is to say, it's actually going to run an activity, and all the activity does is pause the DVD player. If, for instance, I wanted to add in Google Assistant to the mix, I simply drag and drop that in there. Let's name this flow. Um, uh, pause. Pause the movie. You've got to think about how you would say it with your own natural language, because otherwise you don't get it exactly right. Google won't know what to do. So, pause the movie. Great, save. All right, let's see if we can enable it. It's doing a little test to make sure everything works successfully. It did, fantastic. So now, when I'm in a movie, if I said, okay Google, tell Stringify to pause the movie. Sure, let's get Stringify. 
triggers the decals the movie flow. Ah, that's hilarious. Okay, so it's firing up a few different things here now because I didn't have the movie playing, but nonetheless, it's going to run through the activity and because they're smart devices, it doesn't matter what state they are in, it will go to the state that you tell it to. Integrations, great, when they work. And as you can see, there's ways around this and if you've got some suggestions, please put them in the comments below, it'd be really appreciated. My next video will hopefully be in another week, otherwise don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, you know what to do, take care.